Hello, everyone, and welcome to This Week in Wrestling, presented by It's Real the Us, the wrestling podcast. I am Anthony the Mark. And I am Tony the Father. And here's what happened this week in wrestling. Randy Orton and L.A. Knight yeah. have both agreed to terms with WWE on a five-year deal. We will see Orton, who is 44, wrestle until he's 49 with the company. And L.A. Knight will be 41 and wrestle until he was 46. Oh! Just, just like that! So Tony, this is a great deal for both parties. It's going to be WrestleMania 46 on their fifth year. A special match, inside the cage, wheelchair match. <laughs> I hope Randy stays healthy because he's one of my favorite guys. But imagine a 49-year-old getting on his knees and... And he's trying to do the Cobra and his back blows out as he's crawling across the ring. I can see it happening. He goes like this. Ooh. Sonya Deville, Zoe Stark, and Shayna Baszler have been officially given a new name for their faction. They are known as the Pure Fusion Collective. Tony, what do you think of the name? I like them all. I think they're great wrestlers. But their name sucks. The Three Musketeers would have been better than that stupid name they have. They could have been called and it would have been a better name. The Three Stooges. <laughs> One guy. Eh. Somebody's got to be fired. If I was overseeing that department, heads would roll. I'd be sitting there watching Monday Night Raw and I'd be like on the phone, who came up with that? You're fired. Are the bloodline going to use the WWE Freebird rule? After Jacob Fatu was taken out of commission and injured at SummerSlam, we have not seen him. This has led Tongaloa to step up and carry the title in place of Fatu. So, many WWE fans have speculated that the bloodline will be using the WWE Freebird rule similar to the Freebirds and the New Day where any member of the faction can defend the title. Tony, that means Tama Tonga and Tongaloa will be defending the WWE Tag Team titles. They better get another Samoan from the Samoan Island of the Destruction. Tonga Lo is not going to be able to hold the title much longer. He can't even hold his pants up. And he's pretty inept. The bloodline would be better off having Fatu show up and do the cowardly lion from the Wizard of Oz. I'll fight you with one hand behind my back. I'll fight you with one eye closed. I'll fight you with no eyes open. They'd be better off using Fatu damaged up, all banged up, crippled in a wheelchair than Ticonderoga, whatever the hell his name is. He's got no shot. Fatu, come back. If you can breathe, we'll bring you in on a stretcher. You'll do better than your stupid cousin. Dakota Kai injured her knee and will be out 8 to 10 weeks recovering from a torn meniscus. This is Kai's third knee injury since 2019, and she missed almost all of last year with a torn ACL. Tony, what do you make of Kai's injury? Three strikes, you're out. You know who you are? You are the RG3 of WWE. Everybody remember RG3 from the NFL? He was the next coming of the best quarterback in the history of the world. He blew his leg out three times. And where's RG3 now? He's in the announcing booth. So, my advice to you, Dakota Sky, practice with the mic backstage, because that's where you'll be soon. Get well soon, kid. I hope you come back. But start working on those vocal cords. Me, 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 me. Seth Rollins was written off of WWE television after six tsunamis courtesy of Brig Bronson Reed. And although Seth Rollins' injury has been described as internal bleeding and broken ribs, that actually isn't the case. That is what's going on in the stories of WWE. But in reality, Rollins is dealing with a chronic injury that just has not gotten better over time. So Rollins has taken some time off to address his health, and WWE isn't majorly concerned but tony i ask you are you concerned over seth rollins long-term health you know what seth rollins is one of my favorite if not my favorite wrestler in wwe and i'm very concerned he got hit with six tsunamis from shamu the whale from sea world you know what since wrestlemania before wrestlemania seth got hurt so at first it's knee, it's his knee it's his back now he's spitting up blood. I'm very concerned. You know, this guy is the, the, the blood, sweat, and tears of Monday Night Raw, one of my favorite wrestlers. And he's got another thing that he's got to be concerned with, too. Seth is also, within all the injuries, he's flying home to England on Tuesdays and Thursdays because Becky took a part-time job in a diner. He's got to watch the kid, too. Why is he flying to England? 
Becky took a job down at the local diner. Wait, wait, oh, she's from uh, Ireland? Oh, yeah, he, he flies home to Ireland twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Becky's got a job in the pub. After failing to come to an agreement on a contract extension, Bobby Lashley is exploring new opportunities. Specifically, he's looking into boxing. Lashley said on a podcast that he has set up a fight for Las Vegas, Sin City, the almighty one is getting ready to throw some hands. Tony, what do you hope to see? Bobby Lashley, big guy, powerful, strong, good-looking, charismatic. It's rumored that he's going to fight Jake Paul in Las Vegas. Bobby Lashley, Jake Paul, Las Vegas, put him up. Ricky Starks is apparently WWE bound. The AEW superstar hasn't been featured since March 30th, and considering he's a close friend of Cody Rhodes and he's been backstage at WWE events, most notably WrestleMania 40, the rumors are circulating that Ricky Starks is heading to WWE. Tony, how do we feel about that? Ricky Starks in WWE is a tremendous win for them. A young wrestler, up and coming, all the ability. AW, once again, you blew it, Tony Khan. You blew it. You got guys like Mark Briscoe. He doesn't have any teeth. He looks like he's been in the woods for 10 years, and he comes out to fight. I got two words for you, Briscoe. Brit Breaker. You need a dentist. Good for uh, WWE, and shame on you, Tony Khan, you stupid bastard. As we all know, John Cena is calling it a career in the ring, but in a recent interview, Cena stated that he is giving the calendar year to the WWE in 2025, and he is set to make 36 different appearances. Tony, what are you expecting, or what are you hoping to see from Cena? I'm hoping to see a W. He hasn't had one in about five years. So with 36 appearances, I think he could squeak one out. Maybe the WWE Championship if we're lucky. But That would be a great thing. Imagine this. John Cena wins his 17th world title in, let's say, March. And then in April, he wins an Academy Award. We salute you, John Cena. We salute you, John. Salute. This week in wrestling, August 14th, you're all caught up. Thank you for joining us. I am Anthony the Mark. And I am Tony the Father. For It's Real to Us, the wrestling podcast, we will see you next week for This Week in Wrestling. Same bat time, same bat channel. See ya!